I'm joined by Professor Paul Baines to talk about his latest book on marketing. Paul, thanks for coming in. Can you give us a flavour of the book and the audience it's geared for? Well, the a flavour of the book is that it's a, a general introductory text to marketing, but it, but it aims to be a very comprehensive introduction to marketing across all areas of marketing, service marketing, product marketing, uh, B2B marketing, consumer marketing, uh, service marketing. The audiences that it particularly uh, aims at are those um, at the undergraduate level, people undertaking undergraduate courses in marketing, introductory courses in marketing, and at postgraduate level, MBA students, MSc students, um, as a reference text. But it would also be of interest to people moving into a, the first job in marketing too, because it nicely integrates theory and practice. And what's new in this third edition? Well, in this uh, edition, we've uh, unsurprisingly got a chapter on digital and social media marketing, but that's bang up to date, which is not easy to do because the, that world is changing so quickly. By the time you've written it, uh, if you're not careful, it can be out of date. But we've had that particular chapter evaluated, uh, uh, reviewed by, uh, by practitioners to ensure it, it is up to date. There's also a chapter on branding, uh, there's a chapter on, uh, uh, on customer experience marketing. Uh, there's a whole new set of cases, um, so for example one of the cases is around Budweiser Budvar and its campaign to, uh, to beat the competition if you like, because they, they were having competition from international brands. Uh, and uh, surprisingly, really, the home of, of great beer, the Czech Republic, they were uh, they were being damaged by uh, by international brands. So this particular campaign talks about how do they uh, re-energize uh, their brand in the Czech market. Um, and th there's a, a whole host of new online resources because we're not just creating a book; we're creating an online learning package. And there's a series of resources both for lecturers and for students and all that's been replenished. So things like um, uh, flashcard summaries, uh, uh, definitions, uh, multiple choice questions, um, worksheets and so on, a whole host of extra resources to help the student really get to grips with, uh, with the content. Now if you were going to leave our viewers with one key message on how the marketing field is changing, developing, what would that be? Well, I think the key thing is, is in marketing thought and the nature of change in marketing thought. And the nature of change in marketing thought is that even products can be servitized. So, for example, Rolls-Royce, an example we give, uh, most people will know them as, a, as a, an airline, um, an engine manufacturer, airline engine manufacturer. But uh, they've shifted from being an airline engine manufacturer to being uh, an organization which provides power and thrust and that's how they see themselves. Um, so instead of selling engines to airlines, they lease those engines to airlines. And that changes the whole dynamic of the relationship. Actually, it's been very profitable for them too. But that's at the business-to-business -business level. I think at the more general level, it's this understanding that all products are inherently services. And the book is really imbued with that philosophy. Paul, thank you very much indeed. Thank you.